Travis Culse tapped his foot impatiently, a maelstrom of nervous energy swirling beneath his ordinarily confident facade. Their first anniversary with Taylor was only a week away, and he was determined to make it memorable. Diamonds and lavish dinners were lovely, but Taylor deserved something more, something that touched her soul. Inspiration struck when scrolling through Instagram. Taylor uploaded a lovely photo from their trip to Nashville, a flashback to their early dating days. The caption expressed a childhood fantasy of creating a song at the famed RCA Studio B, where musical icons such as Elvis Presley had recorded. Travis's face lit up with a naughty grin. That was it. Studio Surprise was a go. It required weeks of frantic phone calls, using his connections in the music industry, and a heavy dose of charm. Finally, Travis gained exclusive access to Studio B for their anniversary celebration. He even managed to get Nathan Chapman, one of Taylor's favorite producers, for a surprise session. The night of their anniversary came. Taylor, blissfully ignorant, was talking about a new restaurant she wished to try. Travis, heart-thumping directed her to a nondescript building on Music Row. What are we doing here? Taylor inquired, a puzzled expression on her face. Just a little detour, Travis said, leading her inside. Travis was delighted by Taylor's gasp. Studio B was bathed in a pleasant glow, with a grand piano shining in the middle. Nathan emerged from the shadows, a broad grin on his face. Taylor, welcome to Studio B, he exclaimed, his voice full of enthusiasm. Travis tells me you have a song waiting to be born. Taylor had tears welling up in her eyes. She turned to Travis, speechless. This is she started, her voice full with emotion. Happy anniversary, beautiful, Travis replied, enveloping her in an embrace. Let's make some magic. The night passed like a dream. With Nathan brilliantly leading them, Taylor poured her heart into the melody, transforming their year together into raw, beautiful music. By the end of the session, they had created a song that reflected their love story, and was formed in the birthplace of musical legends. As they went out of the studio together, the city lights of Nashville twinkled around them. This anniversary was more than just a spectacular gesture, it was about creating a memory, a song, and a piece of themselves that would be permanently linked. In that moment, under the watchful glare of Music City, Travis knew he had succeeded. He'd given Taylor something far more valuable than a diamond, a song born of their love, a memory captured in music. Travis Kulse gazed out the window of his Kansas City penthouse, the city lights blending into an anxious kaleidoscope. Their first anniversary with Taylor was just a few weeks away, and he was determined to make it spectacular. For a man used to the pressure of the NFL playoffs, this felt like a completely different game. Taylor, a global pop icon, enjoyed a lavish lifestyle. Travis, despite his own celebrity, wanted this to be personal, something that spoke to their special bond. He scrapped plans for lavish galas and pricey jewelry. He wants something authentic, something that embodied the core of their as he looked through his phone, inspiration struck him when he came upon a photo from their early dating days. Their first respite from the spotlight had been a modest cottage hideaway hidden among towering redwood trees. It was where they actually connected, sharing hopes and laughs under a starry sky. A grin spread across his face. That was it. He phoned a friend, a local carpenter who has a talent for turning wood into fanciful things. Together, they devised a strategy. The cabin would be modified. Fairy lights would wind among the trees, creating an ethereal glow. A custom-built stage, adorned with wildflowers from their first date, would be proudly displayed. The centerpiece, however, would be a massive wooden carving representing a confluence of their interests. A microphone interwoven with a football, represented their unwavering support for one other's aspirations. Then came the music. Travis, surprisingly nervous about singing, solicited the assistance of her skilled band. He quietly practiced a tune he knew was precious to her, one they had danced to on that very porch. Countless embarrassing takes later, he managed a good version, his voice heavy with emotion. The anniversary week arrived, and it was a frenzy of preparations. Taylor, blissfully ignorant, was taken away on a business trip by her dependable staff, who were secretly working with Travis. Finally, the day began. Bathed in the golden light of morning, the cabin appeared magnificent. Travis, dressed in a crisp suit, an unexpected feeling, waited nervously. As the pre-arranged taxi arrived, 
his heart pounded in his chest. Taylor stepped out, surprise on her face. Her eyes widened as she took in the changed environment, and a cry escaped her lips. When she saw the engraving, she burst into tears, her palm rushing to her mouth. The music started, with a familiar melody filling the air. Travis approached her with a silly grin on his face, holding a single red rose in his palm. Taylor, he said, his voice full of emotion, this is for you. Thank you for making this year. The night passed like a dream. They shared memories, danced under the fairy lights, and sang along to the music. Travis's wobbly delivery of her favorite song ended with a single tear rolling down her cheek. Travis, she said softly, drawing him into an embrace. This is the most incredible thing anyone has ever done for me. Taylor spoke later, while they sat by the roaring fireplace, her head resting on his shoulder. You know, she continued softly, this isn't only to celebrate our anniversary. It's a celebration of us of discovering a love that encourages and inspires. Travis glanced into her eyes, the warmth of the fire reflected there. Under the starry sky, he knew he had succeeded. He had created a memory, a tribute to their love, one that would remain in their hearts forever much like the carving that stood guard outside their cabin. Travis Kulse paced around his fancy condo, raking his hand through his cropped hair. Their first anniversary with Taylor was only a week away, and he was determined to make it memorable. Sure, gifting her with diamonds was tempting, but Travis knew Taylor valued experiences over possessions. As he looked through his phone, inspiration struck him when he saw a photo of Taylor belting out a song during their first concert together. A grin spread across his face. He planned to replicate their first date, but with dramatic upgrades. First, consider the venue. The rustic tavern they went to after the show was nice, but Taylor could have done better. He called his contacts and eventually settled on booking the Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. Imagine the expression on her face when they were stargazing under the same scope used in her favorite film, La La Land. The music comes next. Travis couldn't match the excitement of the live show but he could get the next best thing. He called the band that had performed that night, and offered them a large payment to regroup for a private performance just for Taylor. Travis changed his apartment on the night before the anniversary. Fairy lights twinkled overhead, capturing the concert's open-air ambience. He set up a projector and screen. The anniversary arrived, and Travis was a bundle of nervous energy. He lifted Taylor up and blindfolded her with a light-hearted flourish. Where are we going, babe? She inquired, her voice full with humor. Just wait and see. Travis chuckled, his heart racing in his chest. Taylor gasped as he finally removed the blindfold. The Griffith Observatory stretched before them bathed in the golden glow of dusk. Her eyes welled up when the band from their first date began performing on a makeshift stage. The evening passed like a dream. They reminisced via the photo montage, laughed during the band's performance, and danced under the stars, with the city glimmering below. As the final chords faded, Travis took Taylor's hand. Taylor, he began, his voice thick with emotion. This year with you has been the best of my life. You inspire me, make me laugh, and fill my life with music. Here's to many more anniversaries under the skies. With tears in her eyes, Taylor put her arms around him. Travis, this is amazing. Thank you for making our first anniversary unforgettable. Travis knew he had succeeded at that moment, under the great California sky. He had not only reproduced a date, but also a moment that would be forever inscribed in